Today I was working on a 300 XC KTM. Uh, it's a 2023 model, so it's the TBI. And after removing the cylinder and the piston, I was checking the free for free play in the rod, uh, make sure that the crank bearings are still solid and, and whatnot. And as I was trying to rotate the rod, uh, it, it didn't want to spin freely like it should normally. It felt like it was fighting a magnetic force. Uh, which caused me to open up the stator cover. And what I found in there was that the uh, this gear that, that connects between your, your starter motor and, and your flywheel um, was hung up. The reason it was hung up is the bushings that uh, fit on either end of this were just really worn out. Surprisingly, the bike only has 140 hours on it. Uh, so it's not a ton of use, but that was enough to wear out these bushings. And so uh, in, in order to replace the bushings, you need to remove the bushings. And so that's what this video is about, is how to get these little bushings out. Um, there's gonna be one of them here in your stator cover. There's going to be another one of them here above your starter gear. And they're not really simple to remove. Uh, I started off by trying to use a blind bearing puller. A blind bearing puller fits into that just fine, uh, but there isn't enough material to grab securely on these bushings. And so that ultimately failed. It ripped out the little reddish rubber that's inside of there uh, and didn't gain me any ground. So my next thought was trying to put a... Uh, an easy out into this and see if I could grab it with an easy out, but none of my easy outs would bite. And so the next thing I tried was to take a, a drill bit and see if I could get a drill bit to lodge inside of the bushing and, and bite into it. And so ultimately that worked, um, but how it worked, I started off with an 11.30 seconds. You guys can't see that, but that's an 11.30 seconds and I drilled the edge down just a little bit, probably quarter inch, drilled down. And then I stepped up from that 11.30 seconds to a 3 8 uh, Again, you can't read that, but that says 3 eighths. Um, and this happens to be a left-hand turn drill bit, but this would work equally well with a standard rotation drill bit. And the key to the removal on this, I got lucky on the first one uh, and I, I managed the process more effectively on the second one. So what you need to know about these bushings is that they're split. You can see the split right there. It's a challenge to see that split when it's installed. Um, but after I drilled it out a little bit, it made the split more obvious. And when I stepped up to the bigger drill bit, I just got lucky and the tip of the bit grabbed on that split uh, in the bushing itself. On my second one, I did not get lucky. And so I drilled out the first quarter inch of the bushing. I took the tip of a screwdriver and you can see where I just bent that lip down right at the split. Where I bent it down, the drill bit was able to bite and then I tip it sideways just a little bit to bind it up and then it pulled it out. So the process isn't simple, but if you go really slow and really careful, it's also not hard. Um, so again, that was an 11 30 seconds drill bit followed by a 3 8 drill bit. Find the split in your bushing, bend the ear down just enough that your uh, drill bit tip can grab it, and then it walked back out. I haven't done the install yet. I've got some Tokyo Mods um, bushings on the way. I'll put those back in as a replacement here, and hopefully those last a lot longer and prevent this, uh, I don't know what this is, a starter sprag gear maybe, something like that. Um, but it'll prevent this hopefully from binding up and, and causing a, an engine malfunction like I've seen a couple other folks online have to deal with. Hopefully this helps y'all. 
to uh, get your bushings out. If you're in the Castle Rock, Colorado area and need any support, uh, I own a local garage and uh, all kinds of dirt bike maintenance. If I can ever be of help, look me up on Facebook. Take care.